Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Jen O'Sullivan. I'm here to share with you how we grow our assets. There's many different ways to diversify when it comes to asset building, but one of my favorite ways is collecting gold and silver. We've been doing this since 2017 and we have quite a, quite a bit collected so far. Uh, we just added some more to our investment portfolio today. And it's kind of fun. It's just moving money around, but moving it into what we call sound money or real money. And other people, some people call it God's money. Uh, why we would call it God's money is because gold and silver are here on the planet. God made them. And it is what uh, humans have decided to use as currency, right, uh, for ages. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about what's going on with your money now and help you decipher all of this because it can be really frustrating. So the question we wanna ask is what is happening with your money, <laughs> okay? Uh, it can be very frustrating. So uh, many of us are working harder just to get by. And as of 2023, nearly half of all Americans said they couldn't even cover a $400 emergency expense. So that, that question, the, the real question is, what is happening with your money? Okay, so what we're going to do today is just go through and help you understand some things like hyperinflation, sound money, fiat currency. But hyperinflation looks like this. From 2020 to 2023, this is a three-year period, what has happened? Groceries have gone up by 343% here in California. It's over 400%. Water and sewage, 185%. Gas, 170%. Again, here in California, it's like 800%. It's crazy. Electricity, 112%. Medical care, 111%. Food and drinks, 88%. College, 69%. That's it, hyperinflation. Normal inflation is like 3 to 4% per year. Hyperinflation is this. And what's happening? What's happening? Okay, so I want to give you a very short and concise history lesson. So it won't be that bad, I promise you, but just enjoy in 1913, the Federal Reserve was established and a dollar of your money was a dollar, like it was worth a dollar in gold. So it was like money was backed by gold in the Federal Reserve. So one dollar equaled one dollar of gold in the Federal Reserve. By 1933, FDR made an executive order that made it illegal, illegal to hold or buy gold coins or bullions or certificates. So that dropped the value of the dollar to 75 cents on the dollar, okay? 1944, it went down to 55 cents on the dollar because the Bretton Woods Conference, this was right after World War II, uh, they were freaking out and trying to figure out how to establish uh, like some, to kind of make everything stable again. So the world's leaders came to the Bretton Woods Con Conference and they established that the United States dollar would be the world's reserved currency and that it would be backed by gold. Okay, so this was a huge decision. Okay, then you fast forward to 1971, it drops down to 25 cents on the dollar. We had just finished a major war. We're, you know, having some problems and all of the world was thinking, what is going on? There's no way the United States is being able to pay for the Vietnam War and everything that's going on there. So so different countries started asking for their money. So how that whole thing worked with the U.S. reserve being the world's currency was that the United States had gold in the reserve that was worth the money that was being borrowed and lent everywhere. So let's say Japan says, I, we want our gold. You guys have our gold. Here's our money. We want our gold. That was what we, you could do back in the day, right? In 1971, because so many countries were asking for their gold back, <laughs> Nixon put the kibosh on that and said, no, we're closing the gold window temporarily. We're not letting you do this. And it's a temporary like hold. And that temporary hold since 1971 has never been lifted. That is the, the pivotal turning point of when money, gold and silver, backed the American dollar, turned into nothing. What I mean by that is the dollar became backed by nothing. No longer backed by gold and silver, the United States just started printing money, backed by nothing. You can just print the money and we got more money, flushing the economy, forcing it into the economy, okay? 
That caused a steady decline. You all remember 2008. Now we're at eight cents on the dollar. The financial quant uh, crisis happened. This is quantitative easing. They were trying to help out the economy and it crashed even more. And then you look at 2021. Most of you don't even know this has happened. But in 2021, Biden approved the printing of four times the normal United States dollar amount. It's insane. And I, I, I ask you, are you okay with this? I'm not. The United States dollar has lost 97% of its value since the Federal Reserve was established in 1913. So at what level are you okay with flatlining? <laughs> okay, because that's what happens in history. When, when a currency reaches a point of no return, which we are in right now, they actually cancel the whole thing and start over. And when that happens, we're talking about economic collapse. So are you ready for that? So how do we deal with this? Well, fiat currency or sound money. So the US dollar, like I said, used to be backed by gold held in the US Federal Reserve. Fiat currency was brought on by the Nixon administration, right? Closing the gold window. It's a system that is built on Amer you, the American people's trust in the US government. You trust that our money is worth something. So fiat currency is backed by nothing. Sound money is real money, like gold and silver, like I said, God's money, because it's the standard currency, the standard method of payment for things throughout time that never changes. So when you think about this government, like basically governments and financial institutions, along with the wealthiest people in the world. So think this through. Governments, financial institutions, the wealthiest people in the world know, they know that gold and silver are the key to wealth. And guess what? They are the largest holders of all the gold and silver in the world today. So my question to you is why aren't you acquiring gold and silver? Sound money. Okay, so there's five main reasons for sound money. And some of you are like, I've never even heard of this before, but keep keep going, right? This is going to protect against bad government decisions. Are you ready for the bad government decisions? I, I almost am speechless. I'm speechless at the stupidity of what's going on right now. This is, sound money also protects against economic co collapse. It supports wealth accumulation. It supports wealth protection. It also helps you to create portfolio diversification. And a bonus reason, it's fun. Coin collecting can be very fun. So let's kind of give you a quick example here. Let's say in 1965, you purchased a Ford Mustang. In 1965, a Ford Mustang, 2,500 bucks. At that point, that would be 2,500 ounces of silver. Okay, let's say today you, you didn't buy that Mustang and you kept that 2,500 ounces of silver. Today, the 2,500 ounces of silver would get you two Mustangs it's crazy. So it just, that's just from, you know, 1965 to 2024. All right. If you were to look at gold and just 2000, so, you know, 24 years ago, you have 626 or excuse me, 626 ounces of gold worth $169,000. That was the average price of the home in the year 2000. If you kept that gold your gold now in 2024 would be worth close to $1.5 million and you'd be able to buy three homes. You see the power? Gold usually outprices silver, so it's an interesting thing, but but not by much. I mean, it's still, still an interesting thing to understand that pretty much the buying power is the same throughout history. So the questions I usually get, and I wanna answer these for you, is what exactly should you be buying? Who should you trust? How much time is this going to take? Like, how much money do I need to start? Do I need to be an expert to do well? How do I store my metal assets? How do I protect my metal assets? And then how do I liquidate when I need to? That last question is interesting because I have a lot of friends who collect gold and silver and they really have never thought through the liquidation process. So what we want to do is just cover these questions and understand where you're going to start we wanna build both an offensive and a defensive strategy. 
And what that means is 40% in real money, such as American silver and gold eagles or Canadian silver maple leaf coins. Those are two of several that you can buy that are, that are a good way to start. 30% in low mintage gradable collectible. So low mintage means there's only 500 produced in the world or there's only a thousand produced in the world and you're buying some collectibles, 30%. 10% in just generic rounds, bullions and bars. And then 20%, that extra 20% is in whatever you like. So if you really love collecting and buying, like I just got some cool collectible. This, I, I ended up buying the the Mars one, I got the Uranus one for my kid because I was like, what's your favorite planet? And he's like, Uranus. I'm like, yeah, because sophomoric humor. And he said, well, I'm a junior. I'm like, it's the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, these are fun and they weren't expensive, but you can collect the whole series and people like series. Uh, my friend showed me in her, in her move, she showed me this box, this box full of coins in little sleeves. And her father-in-law had given it to them. And she goes, uh, how much do you think this is worth? I go, I don't know, because here's the end issue. They're all collectibles. And her husband was like, yeah, they're probably worth nothing. They're just stupid coins. I'm like, actually, they're presidential coins in mint condition from decades and decades ago. And do you know what people like to, to collect? Presidential coins. I'm not sure what that's all about, but they love it. So I bet that's worth a lot of money way more than they think. And that's the fun thing is that they just kind of got it handed down. And like, now that she's like, do you think I can go to Paris with this? I go, yeah. And then some, <laughs> that's your, you'll be surprised at how much money is in there. So it's really fun to kind of decide that extra 20%. Do you want to keep putting that into American, you know, silver eagles and gold eagles or Canadian silver maples or Chinese pandas. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Or do you want to put that into like collectibles? So when you're looking at the defense, defense is like that gold and silver coins and fractional. So these are the pictures there. You can see the bottom right are um, the this American silver eagles. The top left is the uh, gold Canadian maple leaf. So that's the defense. The offense would be beautiful and rare low mintage collectibles. So these are some of the ones that I've purchased. I do not have the, the Tiffany one in the middle. I wish I did, but that's an example of uh, one that just went nuts. And the worth of that one is huge now. So that's what's interesting is you just never know with a collectible. If we, if we go back to the example of this 1965 Ford Mustang, you could have bought that, garaged it. And if you had a 1965 mint condition Ford Mustang in 2024, it's gonna be worth way more than $2,500. You see what I mean? So that's the power of a collectible. So that's the difference there. And so when you start to understand the risk factors, just know that buying and selling precious metals in the, in the case here of like coins, bullions, um, it does include risk. So I want you to exercise your due diligence. That's what I'm here for. I'm helping you. I'm, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not trying to give you any major advice. I'm just trying to help educate you a little bit, but you want to learn a little bit about this and just know that the information I'm presenting here is not for financial or tax advice or anything like that. It's really for educational purposes only. And just remember the current price and the future price. You know, I had a friend say, hey, if I want to, you know, I want to put some money in gold and silver right now, and then I want to take it out next year, will I get a 15% return? I go, no. Historically, it's about a 15% return within about a 10-year period. But just know that within a, a months and ye a couple of years, it, it goes up and down. So it's really important to understand the risks and, and think of this as a long-term investment and then diversify. So it's really important to consider that, you know, maybe you're doing cryptocurrency, maybe you're doing some gold and silver and collectibles, maybe you're doing, uh, you know, real estate, maybe you're doing stocks and bonds, right? Whatever it is that you want to do, it's really important that you diversify. And then think about where you're putting your money. So there's a lot of places. And one of the things that I had a, a hard time with was, number one, I wanted to find a company that uh, the main issue was trying to find a place to store it. So private vault storage was a huge concern for, my, for me. Uh, the second major concern was I don't understand collectibles and I want to get into them and I need some education. So that, that then covered, so collectibles. But then the third piece of that was, where am I going to get the education? Because the companies I was buying from, I didn't really know if what they were telling me was true or not. 
I wanted some solid education that would help me understand offensive versus defensive versus diversification. And, and then how do, and then the other main element is how do I liquidate? How does this whole thing work? Because I've heard horror stories about liquidation. So I want you to think this through. Let's say you have $100,000 in silver. You've done the math on it. You know it's $100,000, but you don't know where to liquidate it. You've got a gold seller down the street that's going to give you like $50,000 for it. And you're like, no, we're not doing that. You have a reputable place online that you heard about from a friend. Okay, so I'm going to ship $100,000 worth of silver coins, heavy. I got to get it insured. It's going to cost a lot to ship. It's going to take some while to get there. Once it gets there, it's a minimum of six weeks for them to assess it. They got to look at every single coin, make sure it's legit. And then they're going to come back with you with an estimate. Now, the estimate may come back $75,000, $80,000. And you're like, okay, but I think I can get more. But what if the estimate came back at like 60,000? And you're like, it's worth $100,000. What is happening here? They say, well, that's what we're going to give it to you for because, you know, we had to take the time to go ahead and assess it and do the whole thing. And if you want it back, we can ship it back. It's going to take another six weeks and we're going to have to like charge you for that and charge you for the, the handling of it. And then the price, and then it has to be insured to go back and signature. Call. I mean, it's a big train wreck. And I'm telling you right now, the hassle of that, I'm not interested in. So most people aren't as either. So I found a company called 7K Metals. And this was a, a friend of mine mentioned it to me over a year ago. I was like, I'm not interested right now. I have too much going on. And then more recently, another friend of mine talked to me about it. And I said, you know what? Okay, I'm going to look at this more. So it took me about three to four weeks to really look at it. I was calling people, trying to find out what this is about. How, how does this work? And I realized this is what I was looking for. And why that is, is because I was able to pay a one-time membership fee have the control back in my hands. That membership fee covers $50,000 of free vault storage. So that was a big deal too. And I, I we got three accounts. The reason for that is we've got $150,000 in vault storage that we didn't want to pay for every single year. It's free, um, free storage for $150,000 that, you know, and you, and you can get as many accounts as you want, depending on how many family members you have. But it's a really interesting way to be able to just get free vault storage. And then it's the normal amount uh, above that. But why I say it puts the control back in my hands is because I'm able to go ahead and uh, like like today, I was like, okay, Jacob, you want, we're going to put some more gold in your account. I could just at a click of a button, put more gold in his account. And now to liquidate, if I said, you know what? Okay. He now wants to buy some coilovers for his car. Okay. Would you like that? We could take that out if you want. And I could add a click of the button, take $3,000 out, put it into his account. And now he can go buy his coilovers. It's liquid within the click of a button, it's within a day, you get that money back. So it's really nice to watch it grow, watch it kind of go up and down, right? Cause I'm watching the, it go just day to day. So be careful about that. I don't get too caught up in the day to day, but, um, but just know that, you know, having that private sector, not government controlled, if, if you start really understanding the government and what they can do, they can seize your safety deposit boxes, whatever's in there. If it's, if it's on the bank property, they can actually take it. They can seize your accounts. You know, that's like, it's been projected that's going to happen. I can't say if that's going to happen or not. Banks can close. There's all sorts of problems with government backed banks, especially in the economy that we're in now. So um, some people are moving their money into private vaults. And then waiting for the election to be over to see what happens. <laughs> okay, that's another thought. But here's the other thing I like about it. I can actually, like I bought my mom an account and now I can give her gold. So instead of buying her stupid gifts for Christmas and Mother's Day and whatnot, I can just give her gold. And she's real excited about it because she's never gotten into gold and silver collecting. And now she is. So she's really excited about it. She's got her first two coins. She's you know, starting to to accumulate some some wealth again. She's 80 years old. So some people are like, well, that's too old. It's not. Even if she has five or six more years to live, great. If she doesn't, if let's say she died tomorrow, fine. We go in and liquidate her account and it's done. We, we don't have to bother. We just put it back into her bank and it's all good. So this is so cool that I can privately gift between members. Now, what's interesting about that is as a business owner, gifting gold and silver basically it's gold we're gifting each other gold to pay for services and that again creates this sort of shield 
so that I can pay for services like my hairdresser, or you can pay for services for me, uh, you know, naturopathic services or whatever. And, um, and it's, it's, a private, a private vault. There's no government control on that. So it makes it really interesting. I also love the fact that they have full education with buyer certification. So you get certified in, in a buy, understanding buying gold and silver, understanding collectibles, and you get access to rare and low mintage collectibles. These are the funnest things I've ever seen. And I've had a lot of great um, success so far in just collecting a bunch of stuff. There's a ton of other benefits. I was at the doctor's office today with my husband that doctor has been begging my husband to get insurance. We, we've always had like sharing serve, you know, a uh, medical sharing with a Christian company and it doesn't cover the stuff that he needs. He needs a lot of insulin and it's expensive. So the doctor's just been kind of on us. Come on, get covered, California. We can't, we're outside of the window. You know, it was February when it happened. The window closed in January. I stumbled on this and was like, wait a minute, there's, I was reading all the benefits and one of the benefits is health coverage. Okay. So when you look at all these benefits, one of them is, um, it, it's see which one it is on here. It's called, I don't know if it's even on. Oh yeah. The, the, see the teal one. So blue teal green, it says healthcare program. It's called seven K protect. So what I did was I researched both covered California it's going to cost Tim alone $707 per month. We can't even do it because we're outside of the coverage. Like we can't, there's no enrollment right now, but if it was, it was $707. Apples to apples, same copay, same deductibles, same out-of-pocket, everything. $467 for the 7K. Now, why? Why does 7K have membership? Well, it's because we're a large group. And so they just, it's just when you join as a legacy member, you have access to this if you need it. Okay, so now $467 per month for his healthcare coverage. We got his insulin from $329 per time that we have to buy it. We have to buy it twice a month down to $1,795. Do, do you see what I mean? Like the savings here is insane. Plus all the doctor's visits, a $25 copay instead of we were paying out of pocket $100 a time. So again, it just it's just an interesting thing. And there's a lot of other benefits, but for us, that was a huge thing. So I was telling the doctor today, I go, so if you have any customers or clients or patients that ha don't have health insurance, because he's one of the rare people that takes cash patients, have them come to me and I'll set them up. They can just literally join this and get, just do it for the healthcare. I mean, how stupid is that, right? You obviously want to do the gold and silver, but I'm like, this is a huge benefit that I don't hear many people talking about. I hear people talking about the auto saver program, you know, because you can save on like traveling and, and like airfare and different things like eating out. I, I'm telling you the biggest savings we've had so far that well overboard paid for just the membership alone is that healthcare program. We also have a social sharing. So I love network marketing. This is a sort of network marketing company. And why I say sort of, it's a binary system, but it's a little bit different in that they do instant gold play, which I think is really fun. Because remember, I, I do other direct sales companies to wealth build, like actually make a lot of money. I make a lot of money in network marketing. But then how do I save that money? How do I invest that money? How am I building wealth and asset building as opposed to spending it on everything? So this enables me to take the money I'm making, put it into gold and silver. But then when I share with somebody else like you, who maybe wants to say, I'm interested in doing this too, I get gold when you sign up. It's the coolest thing. And because I have three accounts, I have my top account. I don't buy anything on that account. I, I literally have figured out the system to make sure that I am getting the most bang for my buck. So when I bought gold and silver for my husband and my son today on their accounts, I got the percentage back. So my top account, I don't buy anything on. It's really wild. And I watch that account grow and it's free money coming in. So it's like, I don't know about you, but I like free gold. And that's, but this, you get paid in gold for sharing and telling with a friend. So 
you know, even if you signed up and then you signed your husband up, you get free gold for signing him up. Like it's the best thing ever. So I enjoy this a lot because this is just another element to like my LifeWave business. And then I do this for my asset building. And in LifeWave, what I love is that they allow us to do two network marketing companies. It's completely legal. And it's a, it's a fun way to be able to do two different things. And you see this? He's, he wants food. It's food time, they think. So he's going to bark through the rest of this presentation. I apologize. <laughs> so just know this is the legal disclaimers for um, 7K medals. I'm going to share with you. Dash, do you want to come over here? Come here. Come here. Well, Harley will come over here. Come here. I'm going to share with you uh, what we have done so that you can kind of understand. The first top account, you would do like a your own personal account, and then you would open up uh, maybe two others. If not, if you have multiple kids, you can open up, but they have to be 18 or older. So in the case of Jacob, my son, he's not 18. He's almost 17. So I opened up a second account for me. So I, you're able to open up two accounts per adult. That means if I've got my own personal account and then under me is my LLC account, and then I've got my husband's account, and I could technically open up another account that's his LLC account if I wanted to, but because there's only three of us, we're just doing that. So Jacob's account is my LLC account that he will have once that um, you know, will change over once he gets to be 18, and then my top account is my personal account, um, but you can see how these are set up. Uh, it's just creating kind of like a family tree so that you can um, push money to each other. You can gift money to each other, which is really great. Uh, and then also build wealth for each person. And this becomes a legacy for your family. Basic plan is $149, but you have to be on monthly auto saver. That means you're getting a collectible coin each month and you're limited in what you can do. Okay, so it's just a basic, get your feet wet, not, I don't advise it, but if you wanted to, you could. The VIP is a, is a yearly fee of $269. Uh, you are going to get a collectible with that, but um, you're getting all the things, but you have to pay annually. Uh, there's one, one, a couple things that you don't get with that membership, but it's very similar to the legacy VIP. It's just an annual fee. The legacy is a one-time fee. So you pay $5.99 once and you never have to pay again. You get everything, but one of the cup, one of the things that was important to me on the legacy is that you get one you get one percent in medals bonus. So, like I said, when I have my two below me, when I purchased today, I went into my top account and I got free money, a one percent back of what I put into their account. So that's helpful because you want that one percent medals bonus. You also, if you're signing up as a LLC or a DBA business account, you can only do that in a legacy account. You can't do that as a VIP or a basic. So a couple things, a couple different benefits there, but 99% um, of my people, I could say 100% of my people sign up as legacy VIP. So that's it. Um, that's the presentation. Hopefully this has helped you understand. You can go to 7kmetals.com slash Dr. Jen slash member dash benefits. Uh, if you're just thinking, you know what, I, I just love these. This is, uh, what did we get here? The solar system. And you want to get Mars and Uranus. Let's say you just want to buy some of the cool collectibles I have. I have a, a bunch of really great ones. Uh, if you want to buy some of those and you don't want to make a membership, you can actually go to 7kmetals.com slash Dr. Jen and go on to products and start buying. I don't actually get anything for it, I think. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but you can still just buy stuff. You can decide you want to buy some of the collectibles and um, just they ship to you and you have them And they're I mean, these are beautiful. I don't know that you can really see it here, but see how high that relief is. This is like almost like a marble and this is a coin. It's a graded coin in here. So a 17 grams is pretty big. All right, so hopefully this was helpful to you and you are now considering this. What I have found is that the majority of people who've never invested in gold and silver are very afraid. So I just want to encourage you to understand something about me. And those of you who've followed me for any length of time know that I research really well. I make sure that I've got all my I's dotted and T's crossed, and I make sure that I make a sound decision. Uh, this is something that I prayed a lot about. I spoke with my husband about to see if this was something he wanted to do. Uh, I didn't jump in quickly. Uh, if anything, I took a good amount of time to really figure this out. And then once I did join, I took even more time to really understand it and go through all the certifications and make sure everything I understood everything. 
Uh, and that's part of it is that you, you can, some of you are able to trust things because you know, I have done my due diligence. Others of you, it's kind of like, well, I don't even know where to begin. And I'm a little bit concerned and I got to get my husband on board or my wife on board. And I got to, we got to figure out how do we do this? And so for me, I'm not putting in huge chunks of money. I'm going at $500 at a time, $1,000 at a time. I'm just throwing money into my sound money vault a little bit at a time. And we're growing it like every week, every two weeks, I'm putting more money in there uh, just to grow it, you know, and make it so that it's growing and growing and growing. And I'm not like putting this massive, huge chunk all in at once because that's scary. But with the coming election, I'm just really trying to work towards figuring this out. So I'm making sure that we're we're solid. So several of you, um, like like Peggy just said, yeah, your research made it possible for me to jump in. So thank you. And Peggy's been collecting alongside of me. We've I've been collecting alongside of her. Like when you guys show me your collectibles, I'm like, ooh, let's kind of have the same collection. It's really been fun. But it creates a little community for us. And then um, some of you who know me know that I like to give gifts. So basically, like if you are signed up under me and you sign up somebody as a legacy, I give gifts to them. Okay. If you are brand new and are wanting to sign up, I give a gift to you. Like, I, again, it's really fun. So when buying a coin, what do these grades mean? So basically PF69, PF70, uh, the PF70 is the is the cleanest. So I have a PF70 uh, cameo here. The PF69 means that there's a slight, there could be slight visual inclusions, like just a slight little scratch or something on it. So it's not perfect, perfect. So the PF69 is always going to be a little bit uh, less expensive. When it says ungraded, that means that you could touch it. I, it's not even in one of these things. So when you see people touching them and whatever, it's like an ungraded coin. This means you keep it in this because it's a graded coin. We're not going to get this out and play with it. So if you have, if you wanted to buy a coin to play with, uh, like your kids or something like that, you'd want to get an ungraded one. But yeah, PF69 is just a slightly less perfect and not not really visible though. Like you wouldn't be able to find it. It's a magnification of 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 sorts. Whereas the PF70 is a perfect um, under specific magnification. So hopefully that helps. Uh, okay, so which products aren't reportable to the federal government? So I have in the Sound Money group a list of those that comes in your uh, buyer certification as well. They teach you all of this. There's a good amount. Um, mostly we stick with the the main ones and the main ones would be the um, United States silver and gold eagles. Okay, so those are the ones with the woman on them, you know, uh, and that's gold eagles or silver eagles. Uh, and then the other ones would be like the buffalo, the American buffaloes coins, the uh, Canadian maple leaves, the one ounce Canadian maple leaves. There's the Chinese pandas. Uh, there's a bunch. There's like a whole list. I posted that list in our sound money group so that you can see all of that. But those are the main ones would be, again, the most popular ones are the, 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 the quadruple nines. It's like 999.999 pure silver C Canadian maple leaf. So I have a bunch of those. The company though focuses on the American Eagles. So in the vault, if you had a bunch of silver Eagles and you wanted to put those into the vault, you could send yours in. So that's something as well. Um, okay, so if you want to join and you have questions, because I did say that, you know, some of you are going to be like, oh, I don't quite know what to do with this. I want you to call me. Okay, so my phone number is 949-282-9745. You're going to text me first and say, I'm interested in 7K medals. Can we set up a time to call? So it's 949-282-9745. If you're watching this as a replay because a friend told you about it, say, hey, I watched Jen's thing. Do you know the answers to these questions? Okay. If that person is, is with me, you can call me and then you'll sign up with them. I, I It's all in the family. Um, so I just encourage you guys to, to make sure that you are working through this well, you're figuring it out. You can tiptoe in, you can buy fractional, you can put a dollar in. You don't really even have to do much. You can just, okay, I'm going to budget $10 a week. Some of you do that and you just put $10 a week in there, just little by little. Could you imagine if you did that? $10 a week of gold. Okay. By the end of the year, 
by the by the whole year, 52 weeks later, you'd have $520 worth of gold in there that probably have gone up, has gone up. Okay, so it's just something to consider. And hopefully uh, this has made some sense to you and that you'll be able to uh, to get started on this. I really do encourage you to do this, uh, especially with like the TV that I watched last night. And I was like, oh, brother. Okay, good luck. So thanks you guys for hanging out with me tonight and um, we will see you soon. Take care.